Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Wally Wallaby. I have the Fruit Rageous Drops, original and fruits. And I have the Sour Rageous Drops. These are wild fruits, and this one is just uh, sour licorice, and they're different flavors. They're different flavors. We'll go over the flavors in a minute. These were sent to us from Josh in Minnesota, and what's interesting is these are made in Minnesota. Uh, these are made in Param, P-E-R-H-A-M, Param, Minnesota, a KLN family brands company. Uh, these are limited edition, real soft, real chewy, uh, really delicious, tasty, wily difference. Fat-free, no high fructose corn syrup, vegan, fruity licorice with a candy shell. Fruity licorice inside, sweet candy outside. This is an eight ounce bag. There are three flavors in the bag. Strawberry, watermelon, and green apple. Three-syllable bag. Oh, oh they're limited, teeny tiny. It's a limited edition. Limited edition. We've had some that had that similar shape to it. Uh, let's see. If you have questions, comments, visit them at www.wileywallaby.com. It's, they've been in business for over 50 uh, years, it says. Eight servings in the t container, 30 pieces are 100 calories. But they're pretty small. They're okay, so pellets. <laughs> do you want to try one at a time, right? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, those were for me. <laughs> I would have picked them out anyway. Okay, why don't we try strawberry? Which one is that one? The red, the red one. When I hear the word licorice, I don't think of that soft texture. It's very soft. Mm -hmm. Almost jelly-like. Yes. In the candy shell. That reminds shell. you of a nerd. The flavor does. Yes, because it's a punch of flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really uh, surprising how strong that flavor is. Nerd ropes. Like you get one of the chewy rope-like mm -hmm. pieces with the nerds attached to it. That's kind of the overall kind of You know, that's that. a great comparison, a nerd rope. Yeah, and I, yeah. I think a lot of people have not had a nerd rope. Yeah, it's basically a piece of licorice with nerds stuck to it. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. But, you but, really but it reminds me like I've had one. That's yeah. good. I like that. The flavor is really strong. Okay, how about watermelon? The watermelon is okay. It's kind of floral to me. It well, it, it tasted kind of powdery to me. Yeah. Okay, let's try green apple. I can't believe I can't think of the name of that gum. I had it all the time as a kid. That's apple. Then you do get a, a punch of flavor. It's it's, it's somewhat appley. Mm-hmm. Like I said, if you were eating like a bunch of them, you would really taste it. But. I like the apple. And I like the strawberry, but the watermelon's just okay. Yeah, the watermelon I didn't like because, like I said, it was kind of flowery, floral for me. But I do love the texture of these. Yeah, They're the very is, easy to eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, it's almost like a gelatin. Like a, like a texture inside. Yeah, I was going to say like a jelly bean. Yeah. But it doesn't have all that the, stickiness. It, exactly. So these are the Sour Rages Drops. These are wild fruits, sour liquors, same thing with a candy shell. Uh, this is blue raspberry, black cherry, and lime. So we get three new flavors, 30 pieces, 30 grams is 100 calories. I'm going to pour the lime. Oh, like the, lime. the smell. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Wow. You smell cherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These look like rocks. Black cherry. You can put these in the bottom of the fish tank. Uh, they do look like fish tank rocks. They would dissolve, the, of course. Because yeah. of the color, though. Yeah. That that blue and green, that mm -hmm. does look like a fish tank. Okay, what do you want to try first? Um, blue red. Blue raspberry. Well, here's two stuck together, so of course I'm going to get that. Hmm. Look, it's red on the inside. Oh, that makes me want to eat it. Wow. The hits are like, wow. Then it goes away to sweet. I braced you for it. That's why you didn't make a face. The minute I laid it on the tongue, it was like... It is very strong. It really is. I'm sure the face was lovely for video. <laughs> wow, that was strong. Um, that, it goes away pretty fast, but boy, is it sour right at first. Yes, it's almost like, what are those things, Andrew, like? Warheads. Warheads, like that. yeah, that's, that's the... At least warheads took a second to get in your on your tongue. These were like instant. That's how hit. intense that is. Let's do a lime. 
pretty much all the time. Right, yeah. Well, I'm expecting it. Mm. You get lime. We do, but the sour almost overpowers most of the flavor. It does. It, 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 the, Kevin's right. They're so, so uh, sour that it, you almost don't get like, like the first one, the blue raspberry. It really, the sourness outweighed the blue raspberry mm -hmm. flavor. This, you do get lime, yeah. but it's like secondary. It's yeah, like that literally. very, very sour is what you're getting. So we have black cherry, which this whole bag smells like black cherry. This is one of those ones where it makes the, the tart just makes your cheeks kind of tingle where the sour is. Now, after I've eaten a few of those, they don't seem as sour. No. The black cherry would be my favorite. Yeah. I still don't get a strong flavor from them. No. No, it's just, it's the, the sour is so intense that, but the black cherry would be my overall favorite. The blue one's still sour. It still like makes your cheeks hurt. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The flavors are much more muted in that than, than they were in the, the regular ones. I don't care for the flavor of the black, no. the blue raspberry. No, I don't either. The blue raspberry is so, so tart that there's almost a funkiness to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, it's a really funky uh, flavor. Yeah, the, you don't get the blue raspberry, you just mm -mm. get that other flavor. You get, yeah, I would not eat any of those blue raspberry again. Yeah. That's a bag I wouldn't get. I'd really have sweet and sour. I don't like sour candy. This is not like, um, what's the little kids? Um, the Sour Pack Sour Pack Kid. Kid. Those are sweet sour. They're more sweet than sour. I agree. Um, I like that kind of sour in my candy, not this really sharp. I was gonna say pungent, but that's probably not the right word for it. But it's very sharp and sour. So we've already had watermelon and green apple, but not these sour. are sour. Right. Exactly. So this collection has watermelon, lemon, and green apple. Uh, why don't we do watermelon first? The red one. The the pink. The pink. Uh, Thirty pieces is hundred calories, so the same thing. It's funny that has a better watermelon flavor than the first one. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm, 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 after taste, not very good. Was it? Was it the pink one? Yeah. I'm trying one of the first ones. The aftertaste is not very good though. If, once you've had that one, when you go back and have one from the first bag, there's no flavor in it at all. That's why I, well, I said that the first time was the, the yeah. flavor's pretty light. There's literally, there's literally almost no watermelon flavor in that at all, but you really do get a nice watermelon mm -hmm. flavor from this one. So I would prefer the watermelon from the sour bag. Okay, how about green apple? It'll be interesting to see which one we prefer. Mm -hmm. Did they say they sell a crisp shell? Oh, candy shell. You know, you're expecting crispy shells, mm -hmm. but they're not. It's a really soft shell. I'm going to go back to the first bag. I didn't really get much flavor at all from that, just sour. Um, once again, the flavor is amplified like by 10 in this bag. The apple's better, the, the uh, green apple's better in this bag too. So. Yeah, you really, really taste a strong watermelon, strong green apple. That's amazing how much more intense the flavor is than from that first bag. Uh, now we have lemon. See, I got the, I got the watermelon, but I didn't get the apple flavor. After you've had that and go back to the first one, it's night and day. Ooh, I love the lemon. Mm. I was worried it's going to be cleaner like. But I was uh, worried about the lemon too, just because of the experience we had with the raspberry, the blue raspberry in the second bag. I don't like that. I was worried it was going to be a cleaner type lemon. It's not though. It's funny that the lemon, I think, is the sweetest one in the whole bag. In the, in the bag, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, the lemon would definitely be my favorite in this bag. But this bag was really impressive because... And you probably wouldn't realize that unless you had the other bag right next to it to compare them. 
But once you've had these and then you go back to that first batch, it's like, wow, those are really lacking in flavor compared to these. That, that sourness also accentuated the flavor in these and it wasn't as strong and intense as it was the second bag. The second bag was so intense you couldn't even taste the flavors. Yeah, I didn't like this one at all. Yeah, so this one is, to me, the winner over all three of them. I might still pick these. Because I went back, really? I went back and ate two of the green apples. Okay. The flavor is a lot stronger if you eat more of them. Um, and I actually got a really good apple flavor, which I didn't get the first time. Okay. Okay. See, I, I just don't like the sour. I'm not sure I have a sweet candy. Right. <clears throat> well, that's fair. Um, these I wouldn't buy again. Though. So, are these something that you think you would divvy out? Because you get a lot. You get 30 pieces. Yeah, I'd probably weigh these out or grab a little handful or something like or that. Or put them in baggies. We, yeah. Yeah, make your own baggies of them. Because this is something that... I if, would weigh them and not count them. <laughs> if you took this out on the couch... I'd end up eating a whole. You're going to eat a lot of them. Uh, a whole lot of them. And you're good, huh? For, for what you pay for. Thank you, Josh, very, very much for sending us these. My pick's gonna be these, and Kevin's gonna stick with it, and we would just not get those again at all. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.